Hey guys, it's Dee Dee, and it is time for Monthly Vera's. I apologize that this video is so late. I know it's kind of pointless to do as we are nearing the end of August, but, you know, who cares about the date? It's only YouTube after all. And um, to all the Vera fans, I, will, I wanted to put this up. So, um, I was sick for a lot of this month, so <clears throat> and my voice is not back yet, so... Anyway, let's get on with it. So I actually have my backpack home for once, and I never show it, so I thought I would show it. This is my, um, this is a favorite every month, that's why I don't show it, but it's usually at work. It's my laptop backpack. Um, this is not the newest style, it's this, the style before, and the pattern that I have it in it is ribbons. And um, if you guys have been watching my videos for, any length of time, um, at least the Vera videos, you'll know that Ribbons is my all-time, this and Midnight Blue is my all-time favorite patterns, and I know that Ribbons is nearing its end, and it's going to be retiring, and actually, I think it's already on sale, um, so I'm just going to die, like, when, when Midnight Blues and Ribbons go away completely, I'm just, I'm going to be heartbroken, but um, Ribbons is special to me, uh, it's a breast cancer pattern, number one. But it's special to me because um, it kind of renewed my Vera Bradley love. This actually, this pattern is what pulled me into the store when our store first opened because it was just such a striking pattern and it had a whole display in the window and it was just gorgeous. And so I walked back into Vera Bradley and the rest is history. So um, this is my laptop backpack. I have a review, full review on this bag and I will try to remember to link that below. Um, if you have not already seen it and you want to see a review on this bag, I love it. I use it every single day. It's in really good shape. There is really no sign of wear at all. It's not even that dirty because I refuse to put this bag on the floor. <laughs> I have a chair that it sits in. Um, and I'm just trying to see if I have any Vera inside the front pouch. I don't think I do. So anyway, it's got this front. I'll open it. Um, you can see I use it. Um, Three pen pockets here. It's got a zippered pouch up here for, and I have more pens and some screwdrivers and stuff in there. Then I just have like my flash drives and CDs and stuff down here. It's got a pocket here, a pocket here, and then an ID window pocket here. I'm in IT, so I have a lot of IT gear in here. And this bag does a really, really good job. I mean, I have to carry a lot of stuff sometimes. I'm just shocked that this thing doesn't have any signs of wear, no tears, no pulling, no threads, you know, missing or pulled or anything, and it's just awesome. Inside here, um, one of the little beer things I always have in here is this, and I usually have a notebook, but they're both at work, the little mini notebooks I carry around, but these are the pocket papers. Let me go past some of these because I've got stuff written on those, but it's just, um, it's perfect, it's, um, got a binded edge up here but then it's perforated right below that so you just tear it off it's just like um it's got a clean edge and i just thought they were so cute so like when i have to write notes to my customers real quick or something like that i just write my note tear it off leave it on their desk you know and then it's got this really nice little feature this little um fabric little band here to keep it closed so something that lives in this bag and i always have it at work Another thing I always, always, always have in here is my Ribbons uh, Zip ID case. And I keep um, money and stuff in here, like backup money. Um, I get free coupons for Chick-fil-A sometimes. We have Chick-fil-A at work. Um, so Ribbons Zip ID case. Pretty self-explanatory. Another thing I got a lot of use out of this month is from my Ribbons Cosmetic Trio. And this one just has like the prettiest pattern placement, doesn't it? It's got the little metal Vera thing up there. And then this is the back. Couldn't have asked for better pattern placement than that. Um, but this is the largest pouch of the Cosmetic Trio. And I saw that um, for a brief time, Cosmetic Trios were back in some limited, um, limited, patterns you could say they didn't have them in every one of the newer patterns but they did have some newer patterns so if you like cosmetic trios um i'll double check but i think they might be in the sales section of the beer site 
or I know for sure you can find these all over eBay, even some at decent prices. Don't know if you'll be able to find this particular set of uh, the Cosmetic Trio, um, but you know, the inside is, um, you can kind of see the interior pattern, but it's kind of like a um, satin material versus the small, medium, and large cosmetic bags that have the plastic. This has satin. I will put uh, like feminine products in here, um, ma extra makeup. Like if I'm wearing makeup at work that day and like I don't have time to put it all on, I'll just throw it in here. And then this one goes in my backpack because I have a different one that I keep in my handbag and I don't always carry a purse at work. Most of the time I do, but not always. Um, so that's all the Vera that's in my lovely laptop backpack. I haven't even washed it yet and it's still like, Colors are vibrant and haven't faded. I remember getting that and how extremely excited I was because I had wanted a Vera Bradley laptop backpack for the longest. And really, the thing that held me up was deciding on a pattern. Do you guys do that? Like, you know, you want a certain beer item. It was like that with my large duffel. I wanted a large duffel for the longest time. And I didn't buy one because I had the hardest time picking the pattern. Because I knew it would have to be something that I would really, really, really like and uh, for a long time. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I got a lot of use out of is a ditty bag. So, again, with the ribbons theme, um, I used my ribbons ditty bag. Um, I had some new tennis shoes that I was kind of breaking in. So, I brought a spare pair of shoes in case my feet started hurting at work. Um, and I put my, make, my little cosmetic trio bag in here, too. But that is just... These things are so stinking handy. These are like a must. If you're a Vera fan, you gotta have a ditty bag. Just, I mean, I put laundry in these. Like when we go on trips and stuff, I put our dirty clothes in here. I put shoes in here because the entire thing is lined in that same kind of plastic. You Vera fans, I know you know all this, but this is for the people that are not, you know, all that familiar with the Vera. So the entire thing is lined with that plastic like these small, medium, and large cosmetic bags are. And it's wipeable, and you can just clean it out so easy. So that is a ditty bag, and then it's got this, you know, drawstring. It's a cute little bag. All right, my cousin, well, let me find the next thing here. What was I going to say about? Oh, no, that's not the bag I brought. Never mind. Um, I had a few shopping trips, a few bigger shopping trips where I was gone all day, so I brought a little hipster, and I brought this one because it happened to match what I was wearing that day, um, but this is the little hipster in, in one of my also favorite patterns, Canterbury Cobalt, and I've shown these before, so I'm going to not go too much in depth here, but it's got the built-in wallet, and I just love that color blue that they used in this. And then that's the inside pattern. If you have never seen Canterbury Cobalt, that's it. Just a really pretty, really pretty blue. I love the cobalt in that. And then um, always, always, always have a, um, a zip ID case in the bags that I'm carrying. So I used that this month. And then the other thing that I used a lot this month was finally my tote in Citron. You guys knew this wasn't, you're not going to get through one of these monthly favorites videos without a tote showing up. Um, but I had been wanting to use this for the longest time and I didn't because yes, I'm anal like that. I didn't have a wallet to go with it. Well, one of my more recent hauls in the last couple months, I got this at the, sa at the summer sale. Um, this is the Kiss and Snap wallet in Citron also. Um, this is, this is the inside. I'm really torn on this wallet because I like the design of it, but it's just so big. And I think it's just, a, it's a good wallet. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think this, this style is now retired. It's a great wallet if you like bigger wallets. I don't. And the only reason that I got this was because um, they didn't have a small size wallet to go with that at the time so that's the one I got and I will still continue to use it I'm not gonna like waste money but in not use it but it's just it's just so big but if you like wallets I mean it's got a ton of cards card slots I think there's six on each side so 12 total and then two ID windows you know and then it's got the kiss lock 
in the middle, the double side. So it is a good, nice, roomy wallet. Um, Citron is really a summer pattern to me, and I'll only carry it in the summer, so I'll probably carry it just maybe within the next couple weeks, and then it'll be packed up for next year. But it's it's really pretty. I didn't really like this pattern when I saw it online, but when I saw it in person, it is very striking. And um, kind of, uh, even with all the bright colors, just like Jazzy Blooms, more on the neutral side because of the background that it's on. It's kind of like a khaki, like a light khaki, if you can see it. But it's really pretty. I got a lot of compliments when I carried it. So um, I don't have my Zip ID case in here because I forgot to get it. It's in my bag that I'm carrying right now. Um, but yeah, I have this, this, and the Zip ID case that matched. And let's see. Oh, something, something I've been using the crap out of this month versus any other months before that I've done these videos is my lap desk. I've been doing a lot of um, writing and stuff at night and using my laptop more than I usually do at home because normally I leave my laptop at work. I don't feel like toting that thing back and forth. Um, and I just use my iPad when I'm at home, but I've been carrying my laptop back and forth because I've been doing a lot of work from home. And so I use this to prop up, you know, when I'm using my laptop. So it's just a lap desk, really cute. That's the back. You can remove this. I'm not going to take it off because it's kind of a pain to align. But it's Velcroed on. I don't know if you can wash this piece, though. I don't think you can because it's like foam in there. But it's just your standard lap desk. And it's just really comfortable and prettier than your standard lap desk. So that's a Midnight Blues. And I'm sorry, guys. that This one's going to be a shorter monthly beer. Is, like I said, I was sick for part of the month, so... Didn't use a whole lot and didn't. I do have one new thing to show you, by the way. Um, this, I used the crap out of this bag this month. Used the crap out of it. This is the um, large color, is it the large color block tote or canvas tote? I cannot remember the name, but I'll have it linked below. Um, and Olivia Pink. And it has, I did um, get this embroidered. This was a free gift from um, one of the events that I attended. The uh, Only for that event, if you spent like $100 or whatever, you got a large color block tote for free. And they would embroider it for you for free. So I took full advantage of that and I got mine in Olivia Pink. And it is just, having a canvas tote, like a big canvas tote like this is like, it's it's a must if you're if you're a chick. You just never know. What I use it for is like um, days that I went shopping like with my mom or whatever. I would put um, a pair of tennis shoes. I'd throw like tennis shoes in there in case my feet started to hurt so I could change them. Um, just, I don't know, random stuff. Extra hairspray, um, makeup, stuff like that. So that's really what I used it for because there were a lot of... A lot of days in the past couple months that I had um, had to do something like that. So that's it. It's just really, really pretty. Good quality. Um, I much prefer the large color block totes with the... They don't make them this way anymore, I don't think. But um, like Marina Paisley came this way. The straps went all the way down and around the bag. It didn't have this. I was a little worried when I got this bag at how sturdy these would actually be versus the ones where the handles went all the way down around the bag, but they're fine. This is a sturdy bag, and like I said, if you're a woman, having a large canvas tote just to have handy for days like that where you're shopping, you need to change of shoes, or even for, you know, overnight, you know, you just need to change of clothes, you're going somewhere for one night, this is perfect for something like that. There's two big pockets on both sides, and then on the inside, it's got this big, big, big zippered, uh, like free swinging pocket right here. And then the base in this one doesn't come all the way out, um, but it flips up and you can remove the base. So it does have like that um, cardboard type base and then it's got like piping all the way around it. So Olivia Pink was not like um, a pattern I was ever drawn to, but in this item, I thought it was really pretty. So that's why. That's why I got this um, in this pattern. So, um, my new thing that I did get, oh my gosh, I've wanted one of these for the longest time. Um, I went to an event recently, and if I remember, I'm going to try and put photos of some of the newer stuff that they displayed 
only that night um, at the event. It was during the birthday party thing, and they had like this private event at my store that I went to. Um, and I didn't. I I only got this one thing, but there was just nothing catching my attention. Even the new stuff, not really a fan. It was just a tiny, tiny selection of some of the new stuff. So I'll try to remember to put the pictures at the end. But I had a 25% off coupon, and I did finally get this. This is the little 311 um, TSA approved, like 311 cosmetic case, and it's clear, so like TSA approved. Um, but I have, it doesn't look, and it's, of course, I got it in Midnight Blues because my duffel and a lot of my travel stuff is in Midnight Blues. Um, I've heard. A lot of people don't like these little things because they're way smaller and you can't fit nearly as much as you can with it if you were to use like a quart size plastic bag. However, I have seen pictures and videos where people have packed these little things and they are just, they pack so well. They appear like they pack so well. So um, my Vera Bradley suitcase, my, I got a 22 inch spinner, came with a 311 cosmetic case, but it's not this shape. It's like the seashell type case and it's good but I just I've always wanted one of these little things um even if you don't use it for cosmetics you know um these retail for $28 which is why I never bought one because I really didn't think it was worth $28 but with the 25% off coupon it came to like 20 bucks I think um so that I got oh a couple more favorites actually so that I got, and this, it's not really much pattern placement happening here, but I thought the handle looked cute because it has the green that I like in that pattern. Two more favorites. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot about these. The Vera bracelets that I got at my last, um, my last or online order, my last haul. Uh-oh, a little metal thing got caught in the center. But this is, I forget what it's called. I think they're still, still available online, but this is the little love bracelet. And this is in flower shower, so it's orange. That's that one. And then the little bow bracelet. I haven't worn the, the dainty chain bracelet that I got. I haven't worn that one yet. Um, but I wore these two together and I have this really pretty Michael Kors um, bracelet that I wore. I wore it kind of stacked like this. And I have gotten so many compliments on these especially these Vera Bradley bracelets, especially the one with the bow. I've gotten so many compliments on. So these two I wore lots um, over the past month, or in July, because these are my July favorites, um, but wore tons and got tons of compliments and just, I love these. They're so, so cute. So that is for real. That's it. I promise. Yeah, that's it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging around while I was on while I was sick and I didn't have any videos going up and uh, I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.